God, this is so hard. Uh, and like, of all the things that have ever had this premise, right, of commoner and royalty, um, in a contemporary setting, right? Young Royals really is dialing into the realism in a way that I personally have never seen. Because usually things that have this kind of premise have a much lighter rom com -y tone, right? So why would you really dig into the uh, class divide and the two completely separate worlds that those characters occupy with completely different mindsets in a lot of ways. Why would you do that if it's just supposed to be a lighthearted, you know, escapist fantasy type romp, you know? Like, why would you? You wouldn't because that's a, like a whole different genre. Whereas they're taking a very rom com y trope and really putting the screws to it in terms of realism and that has created such a beautiful, painful, and frustrating situation. I am so grateful to this show. Because that's like all I want out of life in a lot of ways. I want to take kind of seemingly silly, um, you know, hopelessly romantic tropes, but anchor them in enough reality that it turns into a really compelling situation. That's like the equation that I strive for seven or eight times out of ten, actually. And they're just here doing it in Sweden. Oh, fuck. Oh no! Oh, ha, ha. I mean, on one hand, this is potentially a really good thing. I mean, I understand that you would want it to be literally anybody other than August. That's the other definition of royalty. Ooh, goddamn! Why you gotta bring that up now? I mean, I won't say karma, but Yeah, that's called being your age. Oh, honey. Oh. Jag vet att jag borde vara tacksam för allting som jag får. Jag vill inte tänka på vad som är bäst för alla andra hela tiden. Yes! Vi får välja vilka vi föds som. Oh! Vi får välja hur vi vill. Oh my god! MVP of the whole fucking season! Oh shit. Why did I think he would go anywhere else? Why was I like, gee, I wonder where Vila is going? Hello! Yeah, let him take it. I realize that it is so not that easy. You know? Ooh, that's a good point. Oh. The whole, yeah, just the whole picture here. Just let him take it and go be royal and miserable while you guys are less royal and together. Yeah, he did, by the way, which was very hot of him. Let's be real. What's he doing with his inheritance? Did he buy that fucking horse for her? Because that would be genuinely sweet, and I wouldn't know how to deal with that in this cursed situation. Did he not? Can I relax? Did he not do it? Did he not get it? Can I relax and look away from the screen, please? Okay, thank you. Aww. 
See, meanwhile, Felice is over here being a good ass person. Huh. Oh my god, are we understanding each other through the metaphor of art? Fuck you. Of course we don't! Thanks. Thanks for that. Is she gonna fucking lie and said she didn't know? It's been like this slow drip of detonations ever since the end of the last episode. God damn it. Ooh. Uh, like half of these dilemmas. I don't even know what I would do based on just the information that these people have and without looking at the bird's eye view that the show yeah. gives you. I don't even know. It's like Simon is willing to do what is right regardless of it affecting their relationship. And meanwhile, Vila is trying to prioritize the relationship over doing what is quote unquote right in in his world. I don't know why I said that out loud. I just hurt my own feelings. We'll come out else. Who fucking knows? I sure shit don't. Yeah. Hello? Of course, we're in the same room, we're alone, and we're tragically in love. Why did I... Mm-hmm. Yep. Nobody's filming this time, right? I mean, for fuck's sake. Let their private moment actually be private? Yeah. Also a good idea. Oh. Oh. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, that's not how we. No, no. I mean, I knew they weren't going to like kill somebody at the end of the episode. Because obviously not. But in their, in season two's own way, it still just kind of train wrecked right into the finale there. And, um, I'm kind of otherwise speechless. I'm like in the middle of holding my breath, waiting for the finale to tell me the rest of the information, you know? Although I will say, I know what I said about her towards the beginning of the episode in terms of understanding where she's coming from, from a very human perspective. And even though she's on my shit list and all of that. And I'm still in that place and of that opinion, but boy, a bitch is really trying it. She's really, I'm really trying to hold out hope for her. I just, I need her to give me something, anything that lets me know that she's still in there from the girl we initially were introduced to. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with the finale for season two of Young Royals. And until then, please, please, please remember to take care of yourself.